Hey, let's animate the dogs standing on the conveyor belt, the bicycle and the big hot dog on the roof. Are you ready? So let's begin with the hot dog. We have it here and first you need to click on this button and select Object. Then go to frame 30 and activate the auto keying. This button here. Now create a keyframe and go back to the frame 10. Reduce the scale of the hot dog using the scale tool. Remember that we are animating the null and everything that is inside. So now we've already animated the hot dog. Let's rotate it too so that it rotates as well when it's appearing. Alright, the hot dog is ready. Now deactivate the auto king and let's go to the conveyor belt. We are going to make it look like it's a spinning. As you can see, I've organized everything that is pre present on the scene. For example, the lighting. Well, we don't need these lights. So the lighting and all the objects that we've animated before, like stools, the building, the hot dog, everything except the bicycle. But we need to animate the conveyor belt. So select the cloner for this conveyor belt and go to the offset parameter. Create a keyframe and then go to the frame zero and enter a value of 1%. Now let's look how the conveyor belt is moving. This is how we can generate this kind of animation. It is using the offset parameter of a cloner. Okay, so let's now animate the dogs. I'm going to animate one of them and you'll have to replicate it by yourself for the rest of the dogs. So I'm going to remove the others. Just I, I'll pick one and remove the others. Perfect. So I have this dog. And this will be the animation. The dog will jump and fall down again. It will be rotating in the air. How can you do that? First, we need to do it while the rest of the scene is appearing. So, in this part we need the dog to be animated already. The final position will be here in the frame 25. Activate the auto king, go back to the frame 15, create keyframes and in the frame 20 we are going to modify the position and the rotation of the dog. Perfect. If we play the animation, we'll see how the dog jumps and falls on the conveyor belt. So this is what we've needed, but we didn't scale it, so let's change the values to zero. Okay. And position it, and we see that the dog appears. Now we just need to play with the dog animation. To do this, we are going to drag these keyframes a little bit to the right, OK. Now the dog falls on the conveyor belt just when we want it. OK, now duplicate the dog and let's see where we should place it. Then. Go to this frame and as we need to delete the keyframes that we don't need, right click on the position and go to animation delete track. Now we can position the dogs however we want. Perfect. This way we can place one of e one in front and one behind. All right. We have this dog animation ready. Now we need to make the dogs move along with the conveyor belt. And I think it moves too fast now. So you go to the conveyor belt, select the cloner, go to the object tab and reduce the offset to 0%. Okay. 
Okay. Go to frame zero and lower it to min minus five percent. And now let's keep adjusting this animation. So you can see the conveyor belt moves backwards. So we need to fix it. So go to animation, delete track. As we want it to move forwards, go to the frame 90 and change the offset to minus 10%. That's it. Perfect. Now the conveyor belt moves as intended. Now we are going to make this animation linear. That is, it won't have a curve. So right click and go to animation, show F curve. To make this animation linear, position the keyframes like this in a straight line. Or you can select both keyframes and hit this button. See? Why did we do this? Well, we did this so that the animation doesn't begin slowly and gets faster with time. It will have the same speed throughout the animation. Well, each of these dogs on the conveyor belt must be in a null so that we are able to move them according to what we need. So, create a keyframe for the position on the last frame Go to the first one and move the null of the docks backwards. Then go to coordinates tab, adjust the position and key it. Now the docks will move on the conveyor belt. We are going to adjust their movement so that it fits with the conveyor belt. Right click on the null and select show F curves. Now, okay. Now in this window, straighten the curve. Okay. And we have this animation. We need to make these dogs that come out of the building appear from a specific part of the animation. From this point, exactly. How are we going to do this? Select the two dogs with the sausage and go to the basic tab. Make them, them invisible in the editor and in the renderer and create a keyframe for both attributes. Move a bit on the timeline and turn them visible again. This is like turning the ducks on and off according to what we need. Here, in this exact moment, they appear, and the animation makes them look like they are entering and exciting the building. Okay, our animation is almost ready. And the only thing that is left is the bicycle. But guys, most of the animation is completed. And we've done everything with the tools I've shown you before, which are the plane, the cloner, and which is here, okay, the cloner, and the keyframes. So now select the bicycle and turn off the camera. Zoom in on the bicycle. Remember that we have selected object in this button. So you can see we have the access point for the bicycle on the rear tire. So create a keyframe on the frame 30 using a auto keying option. Change the coordinates to global and move the bicycle to the left. But first, we need to go back on the timeline a bit before moving the bicycle. Okay, perfect. Rotate the bicycle and scale it down. See? It's similar to what we did with the hot dog. Now we need to animate the bike rack. 
as we did with the building, create a keyframe, go back on the timeline and move the rack down on the y-axis. When the bicycle appears, we will make the last bar of the rack appear, then the one next to it and so on. So select this bar and drag the keyframes to the right. Select the next one and drag the keyframes and the last one too. Perfect. The bicycle appears and then each bar of the rack in order. The only thing we need to do now is to make the floor of the rack go up. Select it and create a keyframe here, go back on the timeline and move the rack down. Done! Turn on the camera again and let's have a look at the animation. Perfect. And guys, this is our final animation. We might have to make some little adjustments in some parts of the bicycle, but it's practically done. Select all these keyframes and reduce the spacing between them. Okay, here, perfect. Then 40 frames again and play the animation. Each of these objects created with different techniques has formed this scene. So this is important because this way you can modify and try all the things with your objects so that you can achieve a different animation, a different model or a different scene. Okay, we'll now make the final render and the post production in After Effects, where I will teach you how to create a loop and how to do a little color correction for our render. See you in the next video.